Dozens of pages tell the case prosecutors presented to a Clark County jury in the murder of 24-year-old Esmeralda Gonzalez. This man, Christopher Prestepino, is under arrest and a suspect in her death. Prosecutors say Prestepino kidnapped Gonzalez, injected her with poison, and strangled her. Detective Tate Sanborn testified the suspect and victim lived only a few houses away. Metro's arrest report stated detectives received an anonymous tip that Prestepino and another woman, Cassandra, held the victim against her will, killed her by injecting her with pool cleaner, then dumped her body in the desert. Sanborn testified investigators found this wooden structure in the desert near Glendale, Nevada, filled with concrete. Inside that cement, Sanborn said, was a body wrapped in plastic tarp. But proving the body was Gonzalez took advanced forensic work. Sandborg confirmed they found these pieces of jewelry next to the body. He says a Chanel necklace matches this one Esmeralda is wearing in a picture from her Instagram page. Investigators also found a Rolex watch. They were able to match it to an appraisal in her name. Dr. Lisa Gavin with the Clark County Coroner's Office testified she used bone DNA from the body and compared it to that of Esmeralda's parents. It was a match. Dr. Gavin also testified about Esmeralda's body that, quote, she had kind of a chemical smell as opposed to just the decomposition smell. Dr. Gavin told the grand jury she's waiting for toxology reports to determine the exact cause of death. Now, two other women are also facing charges in this case for aiding Prespatino. Christopher Prespatino is actually going to be in court tomorrow morning for his arraignment. Reporting live here in downtown Las Vegas, Lauren Clark, News 3. Fascinating detective work, Lauren. Thank you so much. Well,